Hello everyone, back with an IRS tax refund update. On today's episode, we'll check in on the latest batch of tax refunds that have just been released and transmitted to banks nationwide. Meanwhile, as those refund delays many of you are still experiencing stretch into another month, taxpayers are reporting receiving a modified notice from the IRS about their delays, so we'll take a look at that as well. And why taxpayers who receive those interest payments from the IRS for those late refunds should be prepared to report those as taxable income on their next tax return. Now, as we've reached the month of June, many of you are continuing to experience those tax refund delays, which are impacting anywhere between 9 and 39 million tax returns, depending on the source, which is absolutely alarming as we move into the summer months. For the most part, a majority of you who are experiencing delays are receiving no update in regards to what the issue is. However, for some who are, we're hearing some reoccurring excuses. One of the biggest excuses taxpayers are hearing is that the refund delays are the fault of their employer for not submitting their wage information or that a letter was sent out by the IRS notifying a taxpayer to submit documentation or to complete ID verification that must have been lost in the mail. So it has to be stated, in a majority of these cases, employers are submitting wage information in the form of quarterly tax returns on time, so it's very unfair to start blaming employers for these refund delays. Many of you have reported receiving one, if not two, of those 60-day notices from the IRS, and we posted those previously. Uh, This is a modified version of the generic 60-day notice, which is informing taxpayers that the IRS is still waiting for their tax information to be available on their computer system. Again, this goes to the excuse of not receiving wage information from employers, but in reality, it's more along the lines the IRS has not processed those employer tax returns, which is causing to those refund delays. Now, the majority of you who responded indicated you're waiting on refunds of over $4,500, So we're talking a substantial amount of money to many people, and again, all of which is rightfully owed to you. And at the end of the day, these excuses you're hearing are really only going so far. You have filed your taxes on time. You have the appropriate payroll tax deductions for those with W-2 income. So all you're asking for them to do is their part in a timely manner. And it also should be added, taxpayers need to have the option of receiving notices electronically. It would have saved countless amounts of people weeks, if not months of waiting had they received the notification that the only thing holding up their refunds was the need to complete ID verification or submit documentation in regards to their dependents for those claiming EITC or CTC. Now, as we recently reported, the IRS is increasing interest paid to those with delayed tax returns from 4% to 5%. However, obviously, in a clear majority of cases, taxpayers rather see the refunds in a timely manner rather than those interest payments, which oftentimes don't amount to much. It should be noted that any interest received is taxable, and in January, the IRS will send out a 1099-INT form, as seen here, for you to report on your 2022 tax returns. Now, taking a look at some of the comments, Raylene writes that she filed her paper return back on February 2nd, and that after speaking to the IRS, who indicated there was no issue with her tax returns, it was rather they're behind in processing and that she should call back in 16 weeks. Again, another example, if you somehow manage to reach the IRS, you may not get a resolution to your problem. Meanwhile, Jennifer writes that she filed her taxes back on January 27th and that she just received recently her third 60-day notice, asking if anyone else has received them this late before. The answer is yes, Jennifer. Some of our viewers have indicated in the last week or so they are getting their third 60-day notice, so you're not alone in that. And it's just a reflection that these delays are going to carry over into the summer months. Meanwhile, Bonnie writes that a year and a half after filing her 2020 taxes, she just received her refund now. So again, another example for those of you with 2020 taxes, uh, the delays continue for you too. You've not been forgotten and those refunds are reaching some of you. So do keep that in mind. And finally, the next round of tax refunds have been transmitted by the IRS to banks nationwide. While most will receive that refund the day of, some taxpayers can expect to wait an additional one to two business days for it to post to their accounts. If you're part of this latest refund batch and do not receive it by Monday, June 6th, you will want to initiate a payment trace to locate that refund. Let us know in the comment section below what problem you're currently experiencing. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on the thumbs up and subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.